Good afternoon, my little potato chips. Excuse me. <coughs> we Patty here from Across the Shock, and I've got another lovely video for you today on this beautiful looking case canoe. Now, you've got all the fuss about case every time somebody makes a video, including myself. We mention fit and finish. But when they get it right, case make a beautiful knife. I have 13, well, I have 12 beautiful case knives. Um, that fit and finish is all great in. But they're not just as easy as walking into a shop and buying them. You have to know where you're getting them from uh, or get them in hand. That's my advice for Case because they can go from the sublime to the ridiculous in one shop. It's just that, sadly, it's that the fit and finish is that bad with Case at the moment. I still think it's really bad. I know people say it's getting better, but there's too many out there that are really bad. Anyway, let's get off that. This is stunning. I just love it. I love this case. I've never seen this case uh, logo here um, with the double X. And it's actually a separate piece that's put in. It's all, I would say, it looks like it's stainless steel, but it could be, um, could be something else. But it looks absolutely beautiful. Now, the, the canoe is, if you followed me for years, not a pattern that I'm over enamoured with. I don't have, in fact, I've got one other queen canoe I'll show you later. And I have an old battered case canoe that I only got a couple of days before I got this. But I got this from Dan over at bladebridge.co.uk. Um, absolutely cracking at a price that was really nice for what it is. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I like it much better than the Queen one that I've got, but I'll show you that. There's not, uh, there's not a big difference. This just when you, when you, I love the way Case shine their blades. Now, it's a pain in the neck because you've got to keep constantly cleaning them if you've got OCD. This has been used. You can see there's scratch marks on it, but that's fine. I bought it as a user. There's no doubt about it. There's where as soon as you touch it with your finger, it just goes all. So I'll do this as the last time I'm going to rub them, just so you can see them all nice. But it has been used, and I've given it a bit of a clean-up. I am over the moon with it. I just think that's so good looking. And when Case do their bone well, they are second to none now. Look at that. How even is that? It's just beautiful. Rub marks. I don't mind that. Not at all. And the user, I couldn't care less. I just think I bought this at a user price. Be quite happy to use it. There's so much blade left. This mustn't have been used much at all. Although it has been used, but not much. There's hardly anything taken off this blade. Dan has it razor sharp, which is nice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this because I don't know how to. Oh, let me just say, there we go. I don't know how to age a case knife. So if you look down there, the top three, there's top three um, crosses at the top. And then there's a cross, a dot, a cross, a dot on the bottom. And then it's case double X. So it's one, two, three exits, no, three X's on the top. An X at the bottom, dot, X, dot. Don't know what that means. But if you can help me, please do. It's not something that would bother me because this is not a, a collector's knife. This is a, a just a knife that I'm going to use. I, I, I just think it's absolutely lovely. And... The nice thing about the canoe is the blades, the guards are covered by the canoe ends. If you like. Well, you can see the shape of the canoe, just for those that have never done. You can see the shape of the canoe, but these are not sticking out. And especially when you're holding the knife, that is a beautiful grip. You can sneak up there equally as comfortable, no doubt as comfortable. But the big, the main blade sits down well. And also, you can just fit your hand in there. It's beautiful if you just want to use the wee blade. Now, there's plenty of that. Gosh, sorry, there's plenty of this blade here is in my fingers. But it's not uncomfortable to use when all I'm going to be doing is nicking a wee bit of thread or something with this. But just a lovely blade. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the, the number of the knife. It's the 62131. And it's USA on top of that. And SS for stainless steel listen to that snap it's lovely i don't know how old it is 
I just have never seen that, and I think it is so pretty. Um, as soon as I seen Dan was getting this one, I was in for his in at his heels for it, and I absolutely love it. The other one, the only other canoe I've got is this Queen's. Uh, I think this is this the Queen City or is it just Queen? No, I think this is the Queen, which is done by Rough Rider. A bit of a different blades. You know, they're nice looking blades. There's nothing wrong with them, but they're not as classy as that. The bone on this is every bit as nice as the bone on that. The threaded bolsters, I really do like. So it's not that this is an ugly knife whatsoever. Not whatsoever. It's 440C, which is absolutely fine, and a pen knife and a good snap. But when I hold them two up together, to me, there is one winner in the looks. And I mean, this is really pretty, but that case with that, why do they not do more um, case signs like that? That is absolutely gorgeous. So let's give you a wee idea. I'll show you that. This is the, sorry, this is the other little case knife I've got. Look at this now. This is old. Bit of a crack in the bone there. This is just a gift from Dan for me to keep old because he knows I love old knives but what do you see this blade look how much that blade has been used and here's a normal canoe blade <laughs> isn't that just fantastic and that has been sharpened well all the way up there I think Dan has this sharp again yeah I could use away at that there's no problem using away at it what a lovely thing to have in my collection that is just so well sharpened away, but I love it. So there we go. Let's give you a wee bit of a size on this. Now, let me get this up here. I'll move everything out of my way because I'm a bit of a prock gatherer. Right. The blade is about two and a quarter cutting edge, and it's about two and five eighths overall length of the blade. The handle is three and five eighths, roughly somewhere around the three and five eighths, and an overall length when the main blade is out is about six and a quarter. So it is a perfect EDC knife, really nice knife. Now, let's take that out of the way. Do you want to see how much this weighs? Well, I will just tell you then. I'll bring it out. I don't do it all the time, but. I just think this is such a pretty knife. When I say pretty, um, it's just, it's really an attractive nice knife. Let me just see. This is, well, there you go, 2.6, about the same weight as a Delica, but you're getting two blades on this, and that's the nice thing about uh, traditional knives. You can get two, three blades, so, and the, the weight is just the same as a Delica, and there's not much difference in size. So there you go, an absolute cracker. I hope you enjoyed that. And please help me if you can tell me what year it's from. I'd be really, really pleased. Um, I don't know how to find out, Case. It's not something I'm over-interested, but I just thought with this one, it'd be interesting to see just how old this is. But the fit and finish on this is really, really good. Really good brass liners. Just gorgeous. There you go. I shall leave you with that. What a beautiful knife. Thank you very much. Paddy's away for a wee cup of tea. Bye now.